My name is Jacob Tierney, and I'm the writer-director of The Trotsky, which is the story of uh, a high school student from Montreal who believes that he is the reincarnation of Leon Trotsky. Fascist. And he tries to unionize the students at his high school. I was very influenced by a Ken Loach film called Land and Freedom that I saw when I was a teenager, uh, which was about the Spanish Civil War. And I had been reading a lot about Leon Trotsky, and uh, at a certain point, I decided I was I wanted to try to write a, a communist high school movie or a film about inspiring young people towards political activism. And I wrote the Trotsky, except I wrote it. It was very serious. It was not a comedy. The first draft, um, and I had done all that by the time I was like 19 years old, and and then I rewrote the film as a comedy after realizing how terrible the dramatic version that I wrote was. Most people I told the idea to um, thought I was crazy and was never gonna get the movie made because um, nobody knew who Leon Trotsky was or really cared about him and nobody really thought that there was ever gonna be a time or place for a communist high school comedy. I'm just here in the protest. I used to describe the film as Reds in high school, only funny. And I think that threw people off as well. And um, there were plenty of times where it occurred to me that a smarter person would stop trying to make a living at something that was clearly impossible, but I, I, I did not. You know, making a film is such a collective experience that if you don't, if you aren't getting help from other people, you're probably not even getting a film made at all. I think it's a medium where you're so reliant on the goodwill and the benevolence of the people around you. Getting invited to any film festival um, is an honor, obviously. You know, the more prestigious the festival is, the better it ultimately is for your movie. It gets better exposure and hopefully a chance to sell. I just hope Tribeca audiences laugh and enjoy themselves. Beyond that, I have zero expectations. It's a film that wants you to laugh a bit and have a good time for two hours. And, you know, the nicest thing about this movie, is, from what I've seen, is that people walk out of the theater smiling. So I, I hope that happens, and I hope that happens at Tribeca.